Good afternoon cattle country. Welcome back to another episode of Farm and Ranch Hacks. It is a seriously rainy day and I think it's going to get rainier here in Oklahoma. So today I'm going to change this fuel pump. So a few things you're going to need to get started on this project. One, replacement fuel pump. We bought a fill right which is made by Tuttle, proudly manufactured in USA. So that's, uh, that's what you're gonna wanna look for. This pump on here, I believe, is a 100% direct replacement of the old pump that we had. You're gonna want all the necessary tools for wrenching, bolting. I'll try and take a look at exactly what sizes things are, but the chances are yours is gonna vary anyway. So it should be pretty simple. A Phillips screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, a crescent for taking off different hoses, you're gonna want a pipe wrench and probably a couple of pipe wrenches if this thing is sitting pretty firm in the tank that you have. A vise would really help to get that full fill tube out of the bottom. Wire nuts, they're the red big guys about the size of my pinky finger. Those guys are gonna be helpful as well as you get this housing going. The old housing had a Phillips connection on it. If you have this exact same pump, there's a star that you're gonna to need to take the uh, junction box off and, and get everything stuffed in there. So that is, I believe, everything. Oh, and some wiring tools. Uh, you're going to want a pair of pliers, knife, actual wire strippers, whatever you need for doing some very simple wiring. If you're interested in the unboxing, let's take a look. Inside, we have the warranty. That's always helpful. The made in hardware, good. We're going to need that. Instructions, won't be needing those. Ground wire, that's good. And the thing that I'm mostly concerned about is, ooh, look at that. Metal and everything. That's fancy. The thing I'm mostly concerned about is, will this pump fit where the last one came out? And I think she should. Everything is, I'm eyeballing this guy. Looks to be the same. New coat of paint. I'm gonna check this uh, little set of specifications, if you can see that against what we got there, but physically, I think all this is exactly the same. A Couple of things you're gonna want. Wrench, size Mondo. Also a pipe wrench, which apparently we don't have. Uh, how that's possible, I don't know. Dad's probably bought 82 at estate sales. So we're gonna improvise and use vice grips as a pipe wrench because that's how redneck we are. Some minor differences in the old pump and new pump style. So in the old pump, the junction box plate is on the back side of this pump, uh, and you can see where the wiring runs up and in. Very similarly, when this pump is installed, it sits about like this, but this is that junction box. So I'll take you guys around so you can see this. But in fact, the junction box is a significant improvement, old design, new design. I really wanna know how old this pump is be kind of neat given that we're replacing with the exact same like kind. Everything used to be back in there. They've done a much better job on the new pump of exposing this and making it a little bit easier to get to. Um, I'm a little intimidated to take this junction box off. However, if I don't, these wires are gonna be out floating in space over time as life happens and things get rained on and that kind of deal. My concern is that's not gonna be a very uh, very secure fit. So against my better judgment, I think I am gonna pop that off of there. So, junction box. I'm glad I did that. I can take these wires and I can bring my actual in from this. You can't see that. I can bring my actual battery cables in, junction all this off, put it inside the junction box, and that's gonna be much more protected from the elements. Pay no mind to the grunting in the background, it's just Kelly. Good news, 
This little guy is in the way of this pump turning out of there, which is not really the way you're supposed to do it, but the way I wanted to shortcut it. That won't work, so we'll go get a socket. That won't work, so we're breaking out the genuine Ford wrenches. You can see that. Ford wrenches. Runs on the tears of vegans and liberals everywhere. So that came off. Uh, the good news is there are four bolts that hold this dude on. We only needed three apparently. Uh, I always have some extra parts left over when I get done fixing something too. Be careful when you remove this because inside, as I should have obviously thought about, uh, is a handy dandy plastic pump part. It is unclear at this moment if I'm going to need that or not. I need to go take a look. Uh, and then we can actually get access to the stem that goes down inside there. As I'm looking across the shop already, I can tell you I don't need it. Uh, that was provided in the kit that came, so. Uh, trash and trash. Yes, I think you can probably rebuild these. No, it'll never happen. And I don't want to have to throw this away someday, so I'm going to throw it away now. So, good news. We found a pipe wrench. This little baby pipe wrench is apparently... Well, you found the monster. I knew I had that monster, but in between those sizes, you're still missing. If I find the person that took the pipe wrench out of the shop, I will find you and I will kill you. Fill tube out of the tank. We removed the old piece. This is the new one, simply because we don't have enough room to spin that new piece on. Probably could have left the old one, but I wanted the red paint. So there you have it. How to install one fill right pump. I didn't show how to actually slap this guy on here. It's one bolt that holds it on. It was the guard to protect this handle. So works good, checked out, no leaks. So that's always good. That's what you want to see. Be sure to take a look at this video uh, down below. Subscribe, leave questions in the comments. I know it was a little bit of a rush tutorial, but hopefully it'll help anybody that has questions on old versus new swaps. If you work for the good people at Tuttle in Fort Wayne and you want to sponsor more videos on farm and ranch hacks, this would be a good one. Just saying. Uh, but that's all we got.